welcome. Glad you guys are here. If you missed the memo on our um, IG story, today's workout is very special. It is a toilet paper special. So I'm super excited. I have my toilet paper ready. Hopefully you guys got the memo, but if you didn't, go grab it quickly. If you don't have toilet paper, you should go get some for more reasons than just this workout. Um, however, you can use paper towels or you can use, um, you can use lightweights, you can use a small book. We're essentially gonna be picking the paper towels up, or toilet paper up and moving it from one spot to another. Um, so if you can grab it, go ahead and do that. You have about another two minutes to figure that out. I'm pretty excited. Um, we're finding new ways to be innovators here as we are stuck inside. So again, as you join in, welcome. This is my toilet paper towel or it might tip over. This, I'm gonna keep this here, okay? So you guys need body weight, and then you need something that we can move from place to place. So if that's toilet paper, fabulous. If it's paper towels, great. If it's something else, awesome. How many rolls? Uh, if you can get like, that's a good question. I should have specified that. I have six, but you don't need that many. So if you have like three or four, that would be perfect and you'd be fine. Um, but if you only have one or two, that also only works. That also would work. Um, I would say at least two would be helpful, but you can use your imagination um, in some of these instances as well. It'll just be a little easier if you have a couple of them. Okay, so um, again, my name is Coach Dana. Super excited to have you guys all here. Um, if you're just joining in, welcome. Glad you're here. And make sure that you guys for today's class what's up justin glad you're here so for today's class y'all will need some toilet paper okay um if you missed it on ig live it's a pretty good video you should check it out anyway but uh <laughs> i'm just kidding but make sure that you do actually have toilet paper okay i have six rolls um somebody told me that that could kind of get me killed by putting that on a video and i guess maybe because like what world are we living in but i'm gonna keep them here and you guys uh, don't know anything about them because you don't know where I live. So they're mine. Cool. All right. Otherwise, all you need is your body weight. You need yourself with a big old smile on your face. Okay. Um, as always, we'll be going through different rounds. I will always offer modifications. So I will show them after we go through the original exercise. But if you know right now that there's something on your body that doesn't really necessarily like a specific type of movement, whether you have a shoulder injury, knee injury, whatever it may be, please go ahead and drop it in the comments. I will make sure that I got you all covered, okay? So let me know what works, let me know what doesn't. Let's go ahead and get started with our warm up, okay? So you're gonna take a roll of toilet paper, okay? And I want you to bring it up, down and over, okay? So you're gonna lift your leg, you're gonna pass that toilet paper underneath. Actually what we're doing here, is just lifting our leg up and we're tossing it underneath, okay? So we're gonna get really a little weird, okay? You guys, you've been watching me for a few weeks. I started off very much cookie cutter. We've gotten progressively weirder. The longer we're inside, the better these are gonna get. So if you like weird, welcome. I don't even think I can turn it off now. It's just so much a part of me. The inside of my bedroom, running in there with toilet paper this morning trying to figure out ways to make an Instagram video. This is my life now. So lifting, pulling that leg up, okay? Just give me a few more seconds here. If you're just joining in, yes, this is toilet paper and we are using it for our fitness today. We're gonna get paper shredded, okay? So we're gonna use these rolls of toilet paper as many as you have. I've got six. If you've got four, that's great. If you only have two, that's fine also. This time, I want you to go ahead, reach forward, and then come on back down, okay? So it's like a single leg deadlift. You don't have to go crazy. Think about just hinging forward, leaning that chest down, and then coming back up. As you do so, drop that roll, okay? So back leg comes up as you lean forward. Think about it as one united mechanism of a hinge, okay? So, anyway, glad you guys are all here. 
you had a chance to go outside today, it looks nice. I haven't actually been out there, but it looks nice. All right, go ahead and switch legs. So again, same thing. You're just gonna hinge forward at the hips. As you hinge forward, I want you to bring that back leg up. Okay, so one movement and then reach that roll forward. Now again, if you don't have toilet paper, you have a problem, like you have a different problem. But for the, for the purposes of this workout, you can use something else. So if you've got a light dumbbell, that will work too. Um, ideally, we're gonna be moving the toilet paper around. So if you have cans, um, or if you have paper towels, just anything that we can move from one spot to another. You guys are all creative. I know you can do hard things. So if you don't have enough toilet paper, I, I believe in you. I know you're gonna find something else that you can use, okay? Go ahead and give me just a few more here. Reaching forward and back, give me one more. All right, now go ahead. You're gonna drop it down, pull it up. Drop it down, pull it up. So we're just going gentle here, okay? So this is just our warm up. If you're low impact, that's fine. You're gonna step it down. You're gonna drop those hips to a spot between your, behind your knees. And then I want you to push down through the middle of your foot. You're just going regular squats, okay? So low impact, you're right here. Otherwise, I want you to drop it down, push down hard through those feet, and come back up. Again, we don't have to go super fast here because all we're trying to do is get our body ready for the movements that we're gonna bring through the rest of class. Down and up. Nice job. So if you guys uh, missed the workout on Monday, maybe you missed the workout announcement for this coming Monday, which is very important, okay? So this coming Monday is my very first quarantine birthday and let's hope my very last. Okay, so we're gonna be doing a birthday bonanza BKBX workout. So what that means is that I need you guys to send me your favorite exercises and I'm gonna put them in a workout. I've already gotten some people's feedback, but I need more of you. All right, go ahead, drop that toilet paper down. You're gonna walk your hands out into a high plank. From here, step your foot up to the outside of your hand, walk, Step that hand, open it all the way up to the ceiling. Hand comes down, leg comes back. Walk it all the way back. And then all the way back down. So walk those hands out. Step that foot to the outside of your hand. Reach that arm all the way up, open the chest. Drop your hand and then walk back. You're just gonna continue going side to side. So if there's a move that you guys have taken in one of, doesn't have to be my class, in anybody's class, and you're like, I really like that move and you want to see more of it, feel free. You can either send me a message. My handle is actually pinned in the comment on our page. So it's at Strength Soul Sarcasm. Or you guys can shoot us a message at BKBX and say, I want to see this class, this move in Coach Dana's class on Monday. And I will put it in there for you. Super excited. All right, give me one more, and then we're going into our workout. Step that foot up, open and close. All right, walk it all the way back. All right, guys, first round, how you feeling? All right, so you're gonna need, and I'm gonna move this so that y'all can see. Okay, so you're gonna need toilet paper, and I want you to put them, four of them, Okay, in some type of semicircle on the ground, okay? And what you're gonna do is you're gonna stand on one leg, balance just like we did in the warm up. You're gonna reach down, tap the toilet paper, okay, whichever one, and then I want you to come back up, and if you can, drive that knee up, land on the same leg, and then come down and tap another roll of toilet paper, come up, drive that knee up. Once you've tapped each roll of toilet paper, you're actually then gonna move on to the next side, okay? So we're gonna be going side to side. So you'll do four taps with the right leg, then you'll switch to the left leg, okay? Move number two. You're gonna hold one roll of toilet paper in one hand, okay? Your legs are a little bit wider than hip distance apart. I want you to think about a spot between your legs. You're gonna drop your knee to that spot 
And then you're going to push down through your feet. You're going to toss that toilet paper up and over, and you're catching it with the opposite hand. Okay? If you've ever been to the studio, we have a class where we actually do this move. So you guys will have a leg up on this one. All right? And your last one, you're actually going to be down on the ground, and you're going to be holding that toilet paper roll between your feet. Okay? So you're stacking them high. You're going to hold it between your feet. You're going to pass it up to your hands and then stack it behind. Okay? So you're going to come on up. You're going to grab and pass back. Grab with your feet, take with your hands, stack behind your head. So you're trying to make a pile in the front. You're gonna grab it with your feet, you're gonna pass it to your hands, and then you're gonna stack it behind your head, okay? So, those moves, we're going three times through, back to back to back. If you guys have any questions, drop them in the comments. If you need modifications, I got you, don't worry. All right, we got. Three minutes on the clock, round one. Here we go. Starting off with toilet paper tappers. Three, two. All right. So you've got different spots on the ground. You're gonna reach down and tap. Push down with that front leg. Drive up. Now, if you're doing modification, all you're trying to do is balance. So you're hinging forward, you're reaching down, and then you're gonna come back up. You're gonna reach down and come back up. Once you've gone all the way around in one direction, switch legs. Same thing, you're gonna reach down, come back up. If you can, drive that knee. So I'm not perfect at this either. My balance is not always perfect, but that's okay. We're not going for perfection, friends. We're going for progress, okay? So down and up as best as you can. Almost there. Remember that second one, you only need one little roll of toilet paper. Three, two, all right. Think about that spot right down between your knees. You're gonna drop down, toss that toilet paper, one hand to the other. My hand-eye coordination is not my strength. So this one, I can't go too fast. If you feel like you can't go too fast, just stay right here. So I want you to try and stay right, nice and low. Nice and low, dropping that knee to that spot right in between your legs, okay? Now when you can, add in that toss, okay? But wherever you are, your goal is to stay low. Come on, stay low as best as you can. We're playing a little bit with our coordination here. When we have good coordination, we become better athletes, okay? So whatever it is that your goal is, whatever you're training for, we're gonna get after it with this acuity. Here we go, three, two, stack whatever you've got, all right? Stack it up in the pile, lie down on your back. You're gonna grab it with your feet, reach up, take it with your hands, stack it behind your head. Again, grab it with the feet, Stack it behind the head. Okay, grab with the feet. Stack behind the head. The challenge is to try to figure out where that toilet paper is when you are stacking it behind your head. Grabbing it as best as you can. Now, if that's too much or you don't have enough, go ahead and drop one. Come down. Come back up. Bring it behind your head, okay? So even if you only have one item, you're just gonna pass it back and forth. You're gonna come up and grab it, and then you're gonna drop it behind your head. Then you're gonna drop it, grab it behind your head. Okay, so lots of options. We got four, three, two, one. Nice job, guys. All right, take a quick break. Let me know how that felt, okay? Round one is where we feel it out. We figure out what do we need, okay? What do we need to modify? What do we need maybe to change so that it's a little harder. Where can we push ourselves? This is where we just feel it out. Round two is where we push it hard, okay? So if you've got any energy in you where you're like, I could give a little bit more, do it, okay? Don't wait, do it now. Go ahead and arrange your toilet paper in that semicircle in front of you. Remember, our first move is that single leg Toilet paper tapper, option for that jump up, okay? Now, you've got goals, you've got options. You can figure out how to do a 
it as quickly as possible. Okay, or you can go for form. It's your workout, you choose what you're going for. Three, two, here we go, here we go. Round two. Come on friends, this is where we figure out what we're made of. And apparently, where we don't have balance. <laughs> Tap down, drive up. How do we drive up? We pull with one leg. We push down through the midline of our foot. We use the arms to drive our body up nice and tall. Okay? So whichever knee is driving up toward the ceiling, opposite arm is going up to the sky. You guys, great job, great job. How you doing? Come on, higher, higher, higher. You guys are in it to win it. Okay, don't hold back. All the way. Come on, 10 seconds. Then we're going to those side to side knee drops with that toilet paper toss. Three, two, grab one roll. Nice and wide, drop that knee, hold it low. Once you're here, I want you to burn out those quads, okay? You're staying low. Drop, pivot, pivot. Now, add in that toilet paper toss, okay? Again, if what you have at home doesn't allow you safely to toss it up and over, that's okay, you can also be here. Okay, you can also just lift it up and over. But notice how your legs stay low, okay? Oh my God. I think I'm gonna hit myself in the face. And like, as though this is dangerous. This shit's charming. It's soft. We got this. 10 seconds, guys. Then we're going back down to the ground. Now that move is as hard as you make it. So move it quicker. Lift up a little higher, here we go. Feet meet the hands. Stand them up. Grab them with the toes. Grab with the toes, reach with the hands. Up and over. You got it, you got it. However you need to do it. Stacking with your feet. <laughs> are you better than me? I think you are. It's not that hard. <laughs> My tulip paper towel has tumbled. <laughs> stay with it, stay with it. Stay with it, you got 10 seconds. This whole thing is a hot mess up here. You guys are doing great though. Nice job, all right, round two. Is done. Spread them out. Going black, back into round three. So again, spread those toilet paper rolls out. Figure out what you're going for. Are you going for speed? You gotta pick it up. Are you going for height? You gotta push down hard. Drive with that opposite arm. Not like that. The opposite arm drives up. Okay, that's gonna help me get nice and high. So I want you to try to hinge forward at those hips, push down with the foot. If you're not jumping, that's fine. Your toilet paper towel, I know, I know. I don't know why these toilet paper towel towers, also I can't say that, it's like a tongue twister. They keep falling over guys, but we'll build them back up. All right, here we go. We got five, four, oh no, three, two, man down. All right, here we go, here we go. Last round. Down and up. Y'all are falling, I'm very sorry. All right, you've got to around, reach down, push up, driving with that opposite arm. Remember, hinging forward at the hips, switching legs once you get around that semicircle. Tap down once, come on up. You got it, you got it. 20 seconds. Last time through these moves. We're moving on after this. Catch that 
Balance, guys. Keep it going. We got four, three. Come on, finish up. Two, one. All right. Legs down low. Drop that knee. Toss that paper towel. Toss that toilet paper. Keep those legs low, okay? So you're dropping that knee. Just think about turning that knee side to side. Okay, my upper body stays at the same height. And as I do this, I'm trying to be like a clown that's juggling. And I'm really, I'm not great at it, but I'm going with it. I can't even juggle one thing. I need like Dan Galanto skills. You guys like to come to our skills class in the studio? This is the kind of tomfoolery we do in there. We toss things up, we move things around. We get a little crazy, guys. So stay with it. Woo! Three, two. All right, stack it up. Last time, stack them on the ground. Toes to hands. Reach them up, pass them back. I seem to have a good rhythm going if I, oh man, two for one special. If I uh, pass them, sort of toss them a little bit. I think the harder part is the stacking with the feet. Can you get it? How many rolls can you stack with your feet? If you got six, I, ah, I admire you. Almost there, guys, almost there. 10 seconds, then we are done with round one. Stay with it, we got five, four, three, two, and time. All right, nice job. All right, how'd you guys do? All right, now, I'm gonna let you know right now, I might not be able to do this as good as you as you can, but that doesn't mean that I can't explain to you what I want you to try, okay? So I want you to do what I do, do what I say, okay? Not maybe what I do. All right, so I want you to imagine that this little guy is like a happy sack, okay? Your goal is to try to keep it off of the ground by using your knees, your calves, your foot, whatever it is. Okay, now, you can do whatever you want. As soon as it drops, you owe me a burpee, okay? Then you're back up. I don't care what you need to do to get this thing to stay up in the air, okay? You can even kind of chest bump it. Man down, it's all the way on the other side of the room. I can't even get it back, okay? So your goal is to try to keep it in the air. Burpee penalty if you drop it. Move number two, okay? You're gonna stack them. Two are wide. Okay, so two are gonna be touching each other. And then two are gonna be a little wider, okay? So you're gonna keep your hands right behind the two pieces of toilet, toilet roll that are touching each other. You're gonna come down, push up, and then reach your arms up, okay? Okay, down, up. Down, up. Going front to back with a plyo push-up. Now, if that doesn't work for you, you're gonna give me a walking push-up, okay? So you're gonna come down and give me a push-up, dropping that chest to the ground. You're gonna walk up baby steps for four, and then you're gonna give me another push-up on the ground, okay? Front to back, plyo push-ups. Move number three, okay? You are going to Keep your legs in a nice wide V, okay? So I've got two rolls of toilet paper. They are out on my sides, okay? I'm gonna bring my feet to the outside and my hands are gonna be on the floor in the middle, okay? I'm gonna push my fingertips through the ground as I reach my legs up and over those toilet paper. Up and over, okay? You will feel this. I promise, I know it looks really simple and you're like, what is that? Those are the ones that are always miserable, okay, I promise. 
So, you got your TP, we got our exercises. Let's get ready to roll. That was a really good pun. I'm really proud of myself right now. All right, hacky sack challenge, guys. Who's gonna keep it up? I need you to count how many touches you can keep it up for. Uh, my goal is to keep it up for a touch of four, and I know that sounds really low, but I don't know that I can get higher than that. So, let's see, here we go, hacky sack challenge. Three, two, here we go, here we go. I got four rolls. Oh my God, the first one. The burpee penalty. Oh my God, they're going all over the place. Man, oh man, maybe I should try the other leg. <laughs> Come on. What's your goal? Okay, figure it out. Apparently this is just all burpees for me. But I know you guys have skills, I know you do. I know somebody is at home rocking this out, not kicking it into the other room like I am, okay? And if you're not, that's okay. You're doing burpees. So wherever you are, you're doing a great job. 10 seconds to go. As best as you can. Try to keep it close to your body. We got four. We got three, two, one. All right, now we're going into push-ups. So, wherever they are, you're going front to back. So drop into that push-up, forcefully push down, and you're gonna try to get your hands to a different spot in front of you. Drop that chest all the way to the ground, forcefully push down, come all the way back. Again, if that's too much, ignore the paper, toilet paper. I want you going slowly down to the ground, drop yourself down, I want you to explode up as best as you can from your knees or your toes. Again, drop down slowly. Let your whole body fall. You're gonna lift your hands up. Then I want you to press your palms. They're at a spot right beneath, but uh, right next to your breastbone and you're gonna push down forcefully and come up. Okay, so that's your modification. You're coming down slow. Release those hands, push down forcefully. Hit your poison. Here we go. B, six, three, two. All right. I've got my toilet paper out wide. My feet are on either side of the rolls. My hands are right in the middle of my legs. I'm gonna lift up and over. Now, make sure you're breathing. Your toilet paper can be as wide or as narrow as you need it to be, okay? So if you want them really narrow, that's cool. If you want them really wide, you're really gonna work those hip flexes, okay? So push those fingertips into the ground, lift those legs up and over. Notice which one maybe feels a little more challenging than the other. Woo, 15 seconds. Nice work, guys. Doing something a little different today, using our household items, making the most of the trees we may be chopping down and getting a workout. Whew. All right, nice job guys. Grab a sip of water, shake out those legs. All right, I'm gonna collect them. They're literally all over my living room right now. They're in the hallway. Got one went out there. I've got one on the other side of the table. I'm just gonna leave it there. How you guys doing? That good, huh? I can feel it, that palpable enthusiasm. All right, well, move number one, hacky sack. Remember, count how many you can do. I did not get four, but I'm gonna keep going after it. I wanna know how many you guys can do. How many taps can you keep it in the air, okay? You got 10 seconds, then we're going back at it. This is the ultimate athletic challenge. Three, two, if you were a 90s kid, and you had a hacky sack, this is your moment to shine. Show off those quarantine skills. I was a soccer player that never knew how to do juggling with the ball very well, so. I was just really quick. That was my skill. 
All right, guys. Halfway, halfway. How you doing? Come on. Keep it up. Alana, that's okay. You got two. I'm still going for, I don't know, maybe two is this round, too. Maybe three. But don't worry. If you're not getting more than two, you're getting burpees, and that's good for you, too. Come on, guys. Five seconds. Five seconds. Stay with it. Stay with it. Three. Two. All right. Here we go. Push-ups. Going down on the ground, you're going to explosively power up. Explosively power up. If that's not working, on your knees, slow it down. Release the hands, power up. Nice and strong. I want to see that chest get up as quickly as you can. Come on, push it. Little bit more, little bit more. Let me see what you've got. Toilet paper push-ups. Toilet paper push. I was just trying to uh, see what the weight capacity is of a roll of toilet paper. It is not my body. Don't put your hands on the toilet paper. It will squish the roll. Wherever you are, jumping push-ups or regular power push-ups from the ground. Three, two. All right, here we go. You got those wide V-sits. Toilet paper on the inside of your legs. Hands on the inside. Lift them up. Lift them over. Lift them up. And over. Only using the resistance from your fingertips to press into the ground as you lift those legs up and over. Make sure you are breathing. It's a small move, but it's a good one. I measure moves in terms of how many I do before I want to quit. This one is like three. But we're still going, friends. We're in it to win it together. Getting paper shredded up in here. We got five seconds before our last round. Three, two, woo! All right, hacky toilet paper second. How many did you guys get? I think that was my worst round. I think, I think I only got maybe two or three. I, I really just cannot keep this thing in the air. But I know you guys have more skills than me because I remember 700 years ago when we were in the studio and everybody could do skills that I couldn't do. And that's okay, I'm gonna keep working on it. Dan always tells me, instead of not doing it, just do it. Yes, yeah, but you got three, nice job. Guys, this is weird, this is weird. If you didn't have a hacky sack in the 90s where your brothers never let you play with it and you have never actually taken a roll of toilet paper to figure out how many you could juggle, this is new. So every single one is better than the last. Here we go, three, two, all right. Oh, and it's down the hallway. That's all right, good thing I like burpees. I'm just gonna go through the whole stack. <laughs> Come on, stay with it. Oh my God, I'm gonna knock things over. <laughs> Guys, halfway, halfway. Come on, hit that goal, hit that goal. If nothing else, laugh at yourself, laugh at me. <laughs> My soccer coach would be so disappointed. Like, what in the world? I'm just trying my best. All right, we got less than 10 seconds. I think I've done 100 burpees, and that's okay. All right, guys. Power, paper, push. Take those rolls of toilet paper, spread them out. Give me that power push. Down, up, over, as best as you can. Down, over. I am just moving these things around. You guys are crushing it, come on. Nice and low, nice and low, nice and low. Then power, all the way up. Big 
push. Front to back. Stay with it. Come on, drop that chest. Power up. Imagine you are pushing the floor away. How forceful are you gonna be? All right, you're trying to move the earth with your arms. Let's make it happen. Last time of these, then we're going into those Y, V, up and overs. We got three, two. All right, legs, nice and wide. Hands, nice right there in the middle. Keep that torso up tall. Make sure you're breathing. This is our last time. Then we're going into the best round. Everybody knows, third round is the very, very best. I saved it for you guys today. That's it, that's it. Come on, 30 seconds. Oh, we're halfway there. Stay with it. Pressing all the way through those fingertips. All of that energy coming from your toes, up your legs, through your torso, down the arms and into those fingertips so that you can lift those legs by pressing into the ground. We got three, two, one. Excellent job. Those were something, those were something. All right, how you guys doing? It's our check-in. We are 66% of the way through. Yes! We should have done like toilet paper speed bags. I don't have that in there, but it kind of looks cool. All right, you guys know it. We're gonna stack them up high. I, there's a toilet paper roll in my kitchen. <laughs> All right, we're gonna stack them up high because we are going in two. Now how high depends on how much you believe in yourself, okay? So I've got a nice little high stack here. I'm gonna push down hard through the floor. I'm jumping up and over. Okay, on the other side of my stack, you know you got a burpee. Okay, so we get up and over, and a burpee. Okay, jumping up as high as you can. If that's too much, you can lower it down, okay, so that you're not jumping quite as high, or you can step it over. Okay, if the burpee is too much for you, and you feel like it's gonna injure your body, be very clear. I said if it's gonna injure your body, not if you don't like it. If you don't like it, that's okay, it's good for you. It's like broccoli, okay? You gotta do it. Hop over burpees. That's number one, okay? Number two, okay? You are gonna have these guys by behind your head, okay? You are going to whoa, sit up, throw it. Sit up, come back down. Sit up, drop it on the other side. Okay, so you are dropping them up and over. You're coming up, drop to the side. Up, drop to the side. Then you're going back down, bring it with you. Okay, so you are grabbing these toilet paper rolls and you're going up and down in sit-ups, okay? That's move number two. Move number three is maybe the best one. Okay, so you are going to, again, have them stacked. I started with six, I only have three. They're all over my house. <laughs> Okay, you're going to start low in a squat. You're gonna grab one, turn it up and over. Okay? Right here. Woo. Okay? So you are doing squat, jumps, turn with the burp, uh, with the toilet paper. Okay? Now, you guys ready? Starting off, stack that TP high. You're going for hop over burpees. I want you to go all out. This is our last round. I'm gonna grab this one. All right, stackity stack, friends. Here we go. Three, two. All right, now remember you're either hopping over and just hopping side to side or you're adding in that burpee, okay? All the way, we're putting it all together right here. I can't even give you a penalty if you knock one over because the penalty is normally a burpee. So you're doing penalties even though you're crushing this height. Now remember that modification, 
you're gonna drop it down a little lower, okay, so that you can push down and still jump over. Other modification, you're gonna step it up and over, and I want you to try to do it as quickly as you can, so think nimble. Light on the feet, up and over, okay? Adding in, back down and up, okay? Pick your poison. We got four, we got three, we got two. All right, now, behind your head, I've got them stacked behind me. I'm gonna take one, put it on the outside of my foot, okay? I'm gonna take them, I'm gonna alternate putting them on the outside of my feet, Okay, so that I'm doing sit-ups and bringing them all the way up and over. And then once I've run out, I'm gonna bring them all the way back. Okay, bring them all the way up and over. Stacking them behind your head. Athletics, skills, it's all the same. You can't be a good athlete without having the skills to pay the bills. All right, almost there. Get ready for those squat, stack, hops. Remember, you're gonna pile all those rolls up or those books or those cans, whatever you've got. Three, two, all right, stack them up. This time, drop those hips nice and low. Okay, you're gonna push down hard through the midline of your foot, turn around, drop that paper towel. Sorry, throw the paper. Now, you're going as quickly as you can, push down. When you stack all on one side, make sure you switch directions that you're jumping. Okay, get down nice and low. Now, low impact, you're gonna squat down low, step up high. Squat down low, step up high. Okay, so you're going whatever level you need. I want you to focus on that form. Drop those hips nice and low. Make those legs burn just a little bit. Almost there. Three, two, one, nice job. All right, give those legs a shake. Nice work, guys. Round one of block three, done. How you guys doing? That was a little more cardio. Cardio is hotio. You guys surviving? You're thriving in this toilet paper workout. Just getting a little creative today. We've got about 25 seconds before we go back to hop over burpees. So remember, stack them at whatever height you feel is reasonable to you, okay? This is your little TP tower. Own it. All right, nice job. Nice work, Lauren. Nice job, Emily. We got three. We got two. Round two, guys. This is where you figure out where's that sweet spot, okay? Where is it for you? Is it going up and over quickly? Is it jumping a little higher? Maybe getting fewer in, but you're pushing hard and generating that power. Find what it is. Get after that sweet spot for yourself. Say it to yourself. You can do hard things. You got this. We got 20 seconds to go. Push it, push it. How many can you do? Think about it this way. You already did more than your best round of that hacky sack thing. Here we go. We got five, four, three, two. Sit ups with a pass on your back. Lift that up over to the outside of your foot. Up, other foot, alternating. Which side you pass it to. Now, not high cardio on this move. That's okay. Everything doesn't always have to be high cardio for it to be really important in building up the muscle 
and that endurance that you need to be strong in whatever your adventure is. Okay, so think about that. Sometimes we jump high. Sometimes we just work on building up strength because one can't exist without the other. Stay with it. Really pulling up with the core, dropping down, slowing it down. Three, two, all right guys, squat, squat. Stack them up, drop the hips. Push down through the feet, up and over. You can do it. Remember to change directions as you're hopping and dropping. Come on, you're already halfway through. Drop those hips low, push down hard through the feet. I know you're feeling that burn a little bit. You're doing it right. If you're feeling like this feels good, I got this. Move quicker, okay? This is not a cakewalk. We are working hard. Come on, finish up, finish up. Three, two, get that last one. Woo! Nice job, guys. All right, so what I want for you is to push it so that when we finish, when you hear that bell, your legs need the break. Okay, so that means push down harder with your foot. We're getting bigger jumps, generating more power by using more force, okay? Really making that heart work, that's gonna keep you strong and healthy, okay? so. Use your mind to dig in deep. Use your muscles to push down hard. We are so close. Three minutes to go. One more round. This is it, championship round, guys. Here we go. Up and over. Come on, make it the best one. I don't know how many you got before, but it doesn't matter. It's all about right now. This is the moment, okay? I don't care what you did five minutes ago, or an hour ago, or a week ago. It's all about right now. This is the only moment we can control. So stay in it. Jump high. Drop low. Take deep. Almost done with this one. Come on. Be the kind of strong you need. We got 10 seconds. A little bit of a break on those sit-ups. All right, on your back. Here we go. I'm gonna drop the tower. <laughs> to the sides of your feet, as quickly as you can. You got this. I think the hardest part is stacking them behind my head. I don't know where they are. We got 20 seconds, come on. How many more can you do? Power through those sit-ups. Almost there. We've got 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Here it is. This is it. Squat, stack, pass. Come on. Make them quick. Woo, don't fall. You're pushing down hard. You're spinning around. You're changing directions. This is it, guys. Remember, make the legs burn. I want you going all out so that you are fighting to get to that buzzer. 
That's our goal. We got 25 seconds to do it. Come on. Power. All right, how many more? How many more? We got 10 seconds. My legs are just about giving out on me. We've got four. We got three. Two. Woo! Nice job. All right. Now, we got one more thing. You guys thought you were done. You're almost there. Take a quick breath. It's like an April surprise. Okay. Now, here's what we're gonna do. In 25 seconds, you're gonna be in a high plank. You're gonna try to toss it up, as I just demonstrated. Toss it up, catch it with the other hand. Okay, if you can't do that, just hold the plank. Okay, one minute, that's it, then we're done. We've got three, two, here we go. Let's see it. Plank, pass. Do the best you can. Okay, if you can't get it, that's okay, just hold the plank. Okay, this is our challenge to ourselves. I'm asking you to push when you thought you were done. Because sometimes life asks us to do a little bit more than we think we can do, and we've gotta do it anyway. Okay, so just when you think you can't do any more, look at what you're doing right here. Chasing toilet paper is what I'm doing. 20 seconds, come on, all the way. Fumble fingers here. Oh, all right. Now you guys are done. I just wanted to finish with that one because I thought it would be fun. And there were too many fun toilet paper exercises. All right, grab that water. We're gonna finish up. All right, how you guys feeling? You good? All right, nice work, friends. Okay. Let's just take that big deep breath in. Hinge forward, let those fingertips come down to the ground. Just lean it forward, let that upper body get really heavy. And then from here, I want you to walk yourself into a downward dog. I'm gonna turn so you can see. And from here, I just want you to pedal those heels to the ground. Right here, pedal those heels to the ground as you push those palms in through, the, through your floor. And then from here, drop your hands and knees to the ground. Give me some cat cows. Take a big deep breath in, arch your back. Exhale, let that back come down. Inhale, arch up. Exhale, arch. Just focusing on your breath right here for a few minutes. And then from here, I'm gonna have you Extend one leg out, and you're just gonna let that nice stretch sink into the inside of that leg. So just extending that leg straight out. You can be down on your knee if you wanna get a little bit of a calf stretch while you're at it, some double action. Step that foot up right here. So again, if you guys missed it, Monday, BKBX birthday bonanza. If you have an exercise that you really like, go ahead and switch sides. I don't care whose class it came from, let me know what that is. You can send me a message at Strength Soul Sarcasm or you can send us a message on BKBX. 
It's going to be a viewer's choice. So I've already gotten some people giving me feedback. You guys are going to call the shots, all right? So my birthday, but you call the shots. So I'm, uh, I'm going to take that as whatever, whatever comes. All right, so if you've got ideas, feel free to let me know. And it'll be my uh, very first quarantine birthday, and I'm excited to share it with all of you. Go ahead and toe heel those feet together and slowly roll yourself up. I want you to bring your arms all the way up, grab onto that wrist and pull it up and over. Just gentle tug here. And go ahead, other wrist. And let those arms come down to the sides. Take a big deep breath in, arms all the way up. Exhale, give yourselves a round of applause. Excellent job. Hope you guys enjoyed at least some part of that. As always, if you did something cool today that you're really proud of, tag me, send a video, send a photo. I love to give you guys shout outs. Makes me super proud to see you doing cool things. Um, no more toilet paper next time unless you guys had a specific move you really like. But uh, just trying to keep it interesting. So let us know what you guys like, what you don't like. We're here for you. We want to continue to connect in whatever way is meaningful. So check us out on your schedule. Make sure you follow at BKB and BKBX. And we will see you guys again soon. Have a good night.